the part of the history of USSR. <clears throat> so the Americans got a new president. His name is Richard Nixon. Nix Nixon, not Dixon. No. <laughs> and also, he decided to take out the troops from Vietnam because people were dying because Vietnamese people would hide in trees, hiding in the bushes, hiding in the trees. Friends with the trees, I hid from the bees. And of course, because of that, the northern side of Vietnam conquered the southern side in like two years or something like that. And also, the, the USSR and the America uh, started getting more along with each other because they both were getting in a small economic crisis. Well, in the USSR, it wasn't that small of an economic, you know, economic crisis, but you know. And also, the USSR wasn't winning at all the space race, so they had nothing to lose, basically. And because of this, Nixon was the first president of United States to visit in Moscow. And because of this, Brezhnev returned the favor in one year and visited Washington. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. And uh, Nixon was corrupt, and so the Americans decided to get a new president. That president was Jimmy Carter, we don't give a shit. Oh yeah, and tension, tension was still there, basically. Like, uh, there was an economic crisis that everyone thought that we were gonna start the third world war, world war, and also the USSR actually tried invading, tried invading fucking Afghanistan at one point, but Brezhnev died, so whew, we dodged the bullet there, and he was repressed with this guy, Yuri, Yuri Vladimir, Vladimirovich Andropov. But he was very old and died in <laughs> at the age of 69. Nice. Nice. That's very nice. Oh, and also he was uh, replaced by this guy, Konstantin Ustinovich Chernonko. Uh, but he was very old and died. Too, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. And he was replaced with this guy, Mikhail Sergeyevich <laughs> Sergei Kubachev. Uh, and he didn't die this time, he's still alive to this day, actually. Yeah, and he wanted the people to be happy, but not in the sense of... Uh, n the, not in the sense of Stalin and others before him happy. Happy with freedom. Happy and freedom. Not like st the Stalin times, which is Stalin times, or something like, Hey, you suck. Oh, what the fuck you see it? You go to Gulag. No, no, no. To him, in his times, was like, Hey, you suck. Okay. I'm okay with that. Хорошо. Хорошо, это хорошо. Я не волнуйся. Хорошо. Oh, and also, he's the, the guy of USSR, of Russia, who brought McDonald's in Russia, which is very cool. I'm not Russian, but... That's very cool, actually. I I guess. Oh, he he also brought Pizza Hut, and and Pepsi too. So he was a pretty capitalist communist, I guess. If you wanna learn more about this, and if Kerzi made a video about this called "Fast Food in the USSR: The History," it's a very interesting video. Plus, he's Russian, so he knows better than me. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, he wanted freedom f for everyone, even for the vassal states. So, Hungary was like, Hey, so does that mean we can imply communism? Uh, I mean, democracy, like, capitalist, I mean, uh, democracy, no capital, don't, don't kill me. Uh, imply uh, some democracy, more democracy in our country. To rule it how we want? Ah oh, yes, of course. You can do whatever you want. It's a free life, my friend. Poland, Poland, did you hear this? Did you hear this? We can do whatever we want. It's with our destiny now. Pog champ, Pog. And yeah, and so Hungary and, and Poland became more democratic let's say and also uh hungary 
where he dropped down the the iron the iron uh, coat the iron the iron curtain that imaginary iron curtain we, we talked about in the other videos and his shit like that yeah they dropped the iron curtain which is very cool the poland couldn't do that because poland is uh it only has communist neighbors so they couldn't do that hungary was had borders with the capitalists so yeah of course and the western germans saw this as an opportunity for them to escape what did they do well they just traveled all the way to hungary saying they traveling traveling for vacation and such like that and after they got in hungary they would just go through austria into western western germany yeah the eastern germans found a loophole and a way to get in western germany just just wow it's cool i guess yeah, the Eastern Germans are b pretty big brain, if you think about it. But of course, the the president of East Germany had to block off the way for East Germans to get to Hungary. So yeah, and they find another solution. They ju will just go to to Prague in Czechoslovakia, and after that they will set up tents in the in the front of the embassy of Eastern Germany in Prague. And after that, they would go with a train or something like that together to Western Germany. They would always find a way. They would always find a way. But of course, there were still people who weren't that smart. Or at least couldn't afford to go in Prague or something like that. And anyways, they still needed their country to be free. They, they could not just do this for eternity. So... What did they do? Well, they uh, taken down the... Democratically, they taken down the president of Eastern Germany. Yeah, the the government decided, yeah, let's take this guy out. The people want more. And because of that, Eastern Germany and Western Germany had been united once again. And also, to make it much better, they, they destroyed the wall. But not the whole wall. That would be too much work. You can also see nowadays. You can go to Berlin right now in in modern day, and you can see the wall. It's a bit more uh, damaged, of course, but you is still there. It's still there. You can see it if you want. There's a whole lot of holes in it now because a lot of people destroyed it after after they united. But it's still there. You can still see it. And which is very cool. I I think it's very cool. And so Germany was united again. And Hungary and Poland became more democratic and became officially non communist. And also Bulgaria became had some democratic collections and became non communist as well. And so with Czechoslovakia and also Romania had a whole, uh, the whole revolution, a whole re bloody revolution. A lot of people died. Maybe I'm gonna make a video about it soon in in, in a in a future video if you want. It was a whole thing. It was a whole revolution. The dictator dictator was uh, tried to flew to Italy and was executed by the. Uh, by the Romanian army. Yeah, it's it's a very interesting story. It was actually executed on Christmas. We're, I'm gonna talk you know, about it in, in a future video. And also, let's go back to our great friend USSR. No more vassal states for him, unfortunately. No more vassal states. But was split in a lot of republics, which were Russia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, uh, Turkmenistan, uh, the the all the stands, yeah. I, I, I don't. You just search it up. I'm not gonna tell them all. I just search it up. Just search the republics up. I'm not gonna waste my time here. 
and the president of the biggest of the biggest republic of them which was the russian republic of the soviet union was boris yeltsin yep uh, seems familiar the name yeah anyway and he went to ukraine belarus and was like hey want to have more power in your own countries and they were like yes of course of course we want that because he was actually arguing with with uh, Mikhail Gorbachev on who has more power in the Republic of Russia. And so he made he made he obligated Mikhail Gorbachev to sign a, a a treaty that will make the Soviet Union collapse make the Soviet Union yeah, like like uh shredder I don't know how to Yeah and of course he signed it because he was he was obligated yeah it's a whole his story just i'm not going to waste my time with it i think it deserves a, its own video in the future a short video i guess not because it's not going to be really long i think yada 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 blah 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 and so the soviet union split it in split it in 15 different countries which are still here nowadays with the same borders and uh, but not with the same flags because belarus i don't know what the fuck happened to belarus belarus is on crack right now i don't know what the fuck is wrong with belarus someone please help belarus i think they're, they're i think they're on cocaine there's a whole fucking revolution going on in Belarus. I, th I think they're not okay there. And so, we say goodbye to the dearest first communist country in the history of countries, modern countries. So yeah, that, that's what happened. What's the aftermath of it? Well, the aftermath is that, uh, you know, Putin, Putin came and ruled, and Russia is still a kind of communist, but doesn't want to accept that. A lot of stuff, Belarus in the civil war, yada yada yada. So what's gonna be next? Well, I guess I'll see you next time. Maybe next time we're gonna talk about the continuation of this story. <laughs> if this happens, World War Three, maybe in twenty twenty five. See in twenty five twenty five to see if it's gonna happen or not. I just uh, I'm just gonna stay here. I'm gonna wait for for the World War Three. I'm gonna document 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 it bit my English sucks. Uh, goodbye. Well, I'll be honest, I don't really understand, but I fell down the ceiling. Now I got glue on my hands and I got rackets on my fingers. Rackets on my fingers, I got rackets.